Hey, I want to talk to you just a few minutes today about the power of God and the way that the power of God can draw someone and touch someone's life. Now, if you're born again today, if you're following Jesus Christ, then you have had an experience with him. Rest assured, your experience is not like mine, and mine is not like yours. Your experience isn't like anyone else's. Your experience is unique. It's your own personal relationship with the Lord. But sometimes we really get away from, I think, and we forget the awesome power of God when it comes to saving a soul. Saving an individual. Convicting an individual. I said in my last video, I was going to tell you something about Barabbas. And to really set the stage for that, I think I might do it on my next video because I want to tell you a couple of things on this video. The first thing I want to tell you is let's go, let's look at three people and the way that they first met God and the power of God that was there. Moses, for example. Here was a mighty Moses, a mighty man that we read about, big, strong man. And he's seen a bush that was being burnt, but yet it was not being consumed by the fire. And he, when, he, when he went up to investigate, the Bible said there he met God. He met the power of God. And do you know what this mighty man did? The Bible said he hid his face in fear. Let's look at another man. Let's look at Saul in the New Testament. Saul of Tarsus. You know the story. Saul was persecuting the Christian people. And he had set out with a group of people. He was, he was going to go find more Christians and persecute throw them in the prison and, and torture, and, and, and no doubt probably some of these people would be put to death. But along the way, he had his encounter with God. And the Bible said that bright light shone from the sky, brighter than it is right now, shining on me, I'm sure. And here's this mighty man, Saul, who had the power to have people killed or imprisoned. But all of a sudden, he went to the ground with this great light because he had met the master. He said, Who art thou, Lord? And he heard that voice say, I am Jesus. So here you read about two pretty good mighty men. And by mighty, I'm talking about big, strong men. I'm talking about mighty in authority. One hides their face in fear. Another one goes straight to the ground. That's how awesomeness the power of God is. Then let's look at another one. Let's look at a friend of Jesus himself. What about John the Apostle? John walked with Jesus and talked with Jesus. John seen Jesus even after his resurrection, before he ascended back up into heaven. John seen all these things. And then, of course, John watched him go, being carried away as he ascended back into heaven. But then, they took John and they put him on an isle of Patmos, a little island Basically, they'd left him there to die or to live out his years as an imprisonment. I always looked at it like a, a type of Alcatraz. If you're from this country, Alcatraz was a little island that they took prisoners out that basically there was no way to escape. And I look at that sort of with John. Now, John had done met Jesus. He had done seen Jesus after he uh, rose from the grave. But it was on this island that Jesus showed himself to John in all of his glory. And John heard a voice. And he said when he turned around, 
He said his eyes was as a flame of fire, hair white as wool. But he said, I fell at his feet as dead. That's the awesomeness of being in the presence of God. Moses hid his face. Saul went to the ground. And John, who was a friend of Jesus, still here he was seeing a glorified Christ. And he said he fell at his feet as dead. And where it's talking about fear, it don't mean a fear here with John. It don't mean a fear as far as afraid of Jesus. It's a holy reverence. The power of God when it comes to a person. See, our experience might not have been like that. Mine wasn't like that. But it was just as real to me in my life. Do you know why? Because I knew I met the Master. If you are walking with God today, there was a time when you met the Master. Because here's the thing. When we make a change in our life, we're not doing it on our own. We can't do it on our own. We've got to do it with his help. And the Bible said that we can't even come to him. Jesus said that. He said, he said no man can come to him except the Spirit draws him. So when you feel that drawing, when you feel that tug, when you feel that conviction, that's when you heed the call. That's when you say, Lord, as Samuel did that day in the Old Testament, he said, Lord, I'm here. And then you can follow him because you're having your own experience with Christ. Now, I'm not going to get into it in this video because I'm already into about the seven minute mark. But I told you in the last video, I wanted to tell you something about Barabbas that you didn't know. And I didn't mean to deceive you. I didn't mean to, because I said it's a catch and here is the catch. You might say, what happened to Barabbas? Okay, here it is. I don't know. The Bible doesn't say. But I want to tell you something about another Barabbas. And it talks about the power, the awesomeness of the power of God to save. You say there another Barabbas? You'll know what I'm talking about if you tune into the next video. If you today are a follower of Christ, you have had an experience with him just like these other men did. And they're all different because we all have our own personal relationship with God. When God met you for the first time, wherever it was, if, if you was in a church house, if you was driving down the street, if you was in your bedroom, if you was at work, if you was in your car, wherever it was. See, Moses was on a mountain. Uh, Saul was on a highway. John, he was on an island. Everybody has their own different place. The important thing is, it's all that same God that we're talking to. And I'm going to tell you about somebody, and it'll tell you about the awesomeness of how God can save. I'm hoping God saves. I'm hoping everybody is wanting so much God in this hour that we can just help so many other people find Christ. And I know we can because he wants us to do that. And I know with his help, we can help lead people to him. So please like and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell. That way you'll know when the very next video comes up. Because I don't think you'll want to hear, miss when I tell you about another Barabbas. Like I said, I wasn't trying to say this Barabbas because the Bible don't give us a lot of information actually on what happened. But I said with a catch. So the catch is... It's another Barabbas, sort of. You'll know what I'm talking about, and I think you'll enjoy it. Like, subscribe, share it with your friends. We'll catch you on the next video. God loves you, God bless you, and you have a wonderful day.